A week ago, Dudford posted on his community tab the steps he goes through as he is compositing TV close-ups in his videos. But then I saw they weren't that clear for a person who is just beginning, so I decided to just create a video following exactly those steps and maybe I could add something also to spice it up. So inside After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition, make it 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second. You can decide to choose any frame rate you want. So now I'm going to call this Main and then hit OK. So now inside main, I'm going to go into my assets folder. I've already brought all my assets into After Effects. This is the video which we are going to use. So I'm going to drag it and drop it into the main composition. After that, since we're going to make this thing procedural, I'm going to also pre-compose this. I'm going to move all attributes and then I'm going to call this the video and then hit OK. Now I'm going to apply all the effects onto this pre-composition. So I'm going to come here and then type camera lens blur. And then I'm going to drag this and then drop it here. In the list, we are told you have to keep this on three. So step two, we are saying that we're going to create grid. So we're going to come here and we type grid. And then with the grid, I'm going to bring it and I also drop it here. It's a new effect. I'm going to minimize camera lens blur a bit. I'm going to try to get rid of this horizontal line so that I can only keep the vertical lines. Yeah, I think that is okay. But now you can't see the video in the background because blend mode is still none. Borders, I'm going to put them to three and then I'm going to come here on blend mode and then I'm going to keep it to overlay to get this texture. But still you can go further and try to fix it based on how your footage looks like. But this is a bit detailed. You know what? I feel like reduce the opacity. Let's say up to, should we say 50? Yeah, I guess I like 50. So you're going to come here and look for CC lens and then bring it right down here and then let's say i'm going to make size around uh, 500 i'm trying to create this look whereby it is a bit distorted okay but then i want the distortion to be upwards so what i'm gonna do i'm going to make this like minus 200 but now it has moved backwards so we need to fill up all this gap all right so i'm going to open up a new layer and then i'm going to call this the adjustment layer let's say this is going to be renamed as scale up so for the scale up, I'm going to apply this effect transformation. This is not on the list, but then for a person who's been using After Effects, you know how to fix some problems. So when I bring this, I'm going to increase it until it covers up the entire black boundaries. 108, that's better. So for the vignette, I'm going to come here and then CC vignette, and then I'm going to drag it and drop it right on the video. So for the vignette, what we're going to say, I'm going to say, let me just bring it up to like 200. And now step three, add Lumetric color. So this is going to be like a way to increase contrast a bunch. I'm going to come here on basic correction and here in the list we were told that lots of contrast. So that's for the contrast. The next step is uh, applying a chromatic aberration. Well he talked about having a plugin. It is a free plugin. It is called Quick Chromatic Aberration version 3.0. So I'm going to get it. I just say quick and then I'll bring it and I'll drop it right here. For the CC chromatic aberration, I think I'm going to put the position to around two. Yeah, I think I like the way it looks. So now the next step is I'm going to come here on layer and then I'm going to go on new, create a new solid called this blur map and then hit okay. I'm going to come here and I'm going to look for gradient ramp and then I'm gonna double click. So now for the gradient ramp, I'm going to come here on ramp shape and I'm going to change the ramp to radio ramp. Now for this, I'm going to bring this dark point in the middle, then move the white point a bit further. Hide this temporarily. So now I'm going to bring here, go back to what Dadfall told us, and then bring the new adjustment layer, and then I'm gonna name it as edge blur. So now I'm going to bring my CC camera lens blur, and then I'm gonna bring it right here. So once I bring it over there, I'm going to say, um, I feel like if we make the blur radius to be 10 and then I come here on the layer and then I look for the blur map and then for this I'm going to set it initially on source but then I'm going to try to change it to effects and masks and then it's going to be applied. This is the before and that's the after. It is subtle but then it creates a big difference. And now the sixth point which is the reflections come back here in my projects. So I'm going to get the reflections and I'm going to put it right here at the top. Though this is a bigger layer so I'm going to press S and then I'm going to scale it down so that I get I get this red, you understand? So now after doing that, this is very easy. What I'm gonna do, 
it's very easy i'm going to just change the blend mode to screen now we have that effect yeah it's more like a reflection okay to create the flicker come to layer new and then i'm going to open up a new adjustment layer and i'm going to name it as flickering so for this i'm going to come here on my effects and presets and then i'm going to type curves so i'm going to bring these curves and put it right here increase it a tad bit so now in order to control this entire thing i'm going to press t and then i'm going to hold the alt key and then click on the stopwatch and say we go into brackets let's say it will go six times per second and then it can get the maximum of 100 percent of the opacity so now it is done so when i try to scrub through you can see that it's somehow flickering so for the camera shake as well i'm going to now let's come here i'm going to create another adjustment layer and then i'm going to call this adjustment layer cam shake i'm going to come here and then inside my effects and pre-compositions i'm going to type camera shake camera shake be blah so now after doing that i'm going to come here i'm going to leave almost everything the same but then i'm going to make this like 50 so that we get that subtle shake okay so now one last thing though here it is not added on the list so what i'm gonna do i'm going to come down here on the video as the last or the bonus step which is gonna be wave wrap and then for the wave wrap i'm going to double click or i can bring it and drop it right here set the height to let's say to the width to 800 the direction to zero and then a wave speed i feel like minus 0.5 does so now i'm going to come here and then i'm going to change the wave type from sine to square okay so it will feel like there is a line going through everything that i'm doing now this is going to be like a template which you can get with a link in the description below anyway thank you for watching that has been a video and i hope you've enjoyed the tutorial catch you in the next video peace